Hello, welcome to the channel. Vormithrax here. We are back for some more of our Broken Cyborg Challenge run in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Alright, let me just do some double checking to make sure that everything's looking good on the live stream info. Mike's working. Yep, Mike's working. Always good to double check that. <laughs> and everything else looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my character sheet up. And for anybody just starting to watch, this is the Broken Cyborg Challenge. So I've set myself a few restrictions and goals and such. So you can see up here we've got the Broken Cyborg selected. I've also given myself the Schizophrenic trait to make things even more interesting. Um, so you can see that right here, as well as the other traits I've selected. Our current skills, stats, and effects. And we've got a common cold going on, which I don't have any cold medicine to deal with. Um, but other than that, things aren't doing too bad. I've got a lot of torso encumbrance. Um, that's mostly due to this duffel bag strapped to me at the moment. And the goal of the scenario for this challenge run is to get rid of all of these negative bionics. So everything from this point, electrical discharge, down through wire-induced stiffness. These are all bad bionics. They all have negative effects to the gameplay, making things more difficult. It's one of the hardest starting professions to actually deal with in the game. And I've got wander spawns turned on as well, NPCs turned on, all the good stuff. So it's going to make for a pretty tough challenge, but uh, I have two goals. First goal, get rid of all of these negative bionics. Second goal, have medicine in my inventory to take care of the schizophrenia. And that medicine is Thorazine. So if I can ever accomplish both of those things, all the negative bionics gone and the Thorazine in my inventory at the same time, then I'll declare that a victory and I'll keep playing after that until I die, but that's my victory point. Um, that's the thing I'm going to struggle against and try to get to. Alright, so lots of bad bionics. I haven't started taking any of those out yet. It's quite the process and quite dangerous to remove bionics, so it's going to be a while before I even try. I need to get a bunch of skills up a number of levels before I even make the attempt. Um, other than that, if you take a look at the map, just a brief recap of what's going on. Um, we started right here in the hospital. Popped out, ran south to this cabin, set up our little base of operations there. Uh, we've done some explorations around the area. We've been down this way, found a couple of useful vehicles that we've stripped out and used. Uh, we've done an exploration run down this way, which is where we're going to start focusing our attention. And currently, we are up north above the city of Menden. And at the end of last episode, we were right around this area trying to do some looting and kill some zombies to try to thin out the herd that's uh, surrounding Menden. And we did some good looting, killed a bunch, but then we pulled back when we had a few extras show up. And we pulled north to the gas station to refill the gas on our bike and sleep the night away. And that's kind of where we're at right now. So I don't plan on going north again. Um, I've got this as an option. I would like to see if this is clear so that I can actually get to these bridges and into the city of Dracut. Um, so that's one goal I'd like to get done if I can. Um, I may fiddle around with the town here a little bit more. There are some pretty tough zombies hanging out in that area that I have to be really careful of. So I'm going to be pretty cautious in this playthrough. I'll warn you in advance. It's really, really hard to get one of these guys to stay alive with the broken cyborg um, on the difficulty settings that we've got. So I'm going to play pretty cautious and trying to keep this guy alive to complete this challenge. I've tried it about a bunch, or about, uh, I don't know, ten times so far. And this is by far the best run we've had. Um, and then my other focus is going to be down this way. So we've got a pretty clear run from our cabin down to this section of town. And no fungal infections or anything like that down this way. Um, so I'm thinking of trying to get this part clear and then possibly setting up down here. I've also got a FEMA camp, which shouldn't be too tough to clear out, so I might visit the FEMA camp as well. Um, and there's some tents and things that we can use there once we get that area cleared, so we've got a few possibilities. But for now, what are our goals up north? Um, we just woke up. We spent the night in the gas station in a sleeping bag, so let's make sure first that my food and hunger are taken care of, and I've got my inventory sorted. Um, we've got some stat minuses. 
It's two in the morning, so I need to do a something. I'm not going to drive around in the dark on the bike, so I need to figure out something else I can do in the meantime. But let's first drop off a few things here. Put the sleeping bag in. I'm going to keep these for the moment. I haven't played this since last Thursday, so it's going to take me a short pit to kind of get back into the swing of things and remember what I'm carrying and exactly what my plans were. Um, got my coffee maker. Got duct tape and a battery now. That's good. Got lots of medical supplies, lots of food and water. Let's just drop that stuff off. I'm just barely under volume with what I've got right now. Go ahead and have some water. And... Can't remember. Did I leave? <laughs> well, there's my first acid discharge. Always happy to see that happen. Alright, vending machines are empty, so I'm not going to get anything out of there. So it's just what I've got with me. Which isn't actually a lot, so I do need to be a little careful with how much I've got going on there. Alright. And as always, let me know in chat if there's any problems with the stream, volume levels, anything like that. If my talking head's in the wrong location. Sometimes I forget to check as I swap between games. Um, but just let me know. I'll try to check in fairly regularly to see what's going on and catch up with chat. Alright. I need to do something for the next couple of hours. Um, that's just popcorn. I don't want popcorn. I don't think I've got an option to boil the water without let's take a look at our bike first make sure of a few things 100% gas 100% battery so that's great um, let's grab that tin can again what else do I have in here not much that's not going to give me Let's drink that as well and do a test. Let's run up to the bathroom, close the door, activate our... Eh, we'll activate the flashlight and we'll try to craft. Alright, I can. Cool. Go ahead and drink that. Yes. Now we're slaked. Um, yeah, I'm gonna pour on the ground. Oops, turn that off. All right, good to know I can do it that way. So I can use the atomic coffee maker, and I believe it's one of the tin cans. I need to have something available in order to uh, dump the water into my large sealed stomach. But I'm slaked. I've got eight more units of water, so that should be good. Um, it's not quite 3 a.m. I don't have any books I can read. I don't really have any raw materials I can craft with. There's a bus outside, but I don't think there's anything I can... Yeah, I'm hallucinating now. As soon as my vision cuts down like that, I know I'm hallucinating. And I have the shakes as well. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do with this bus that's going to be useful. I guess I can remove and install headlights. Uh, let's see here. Mechanic skill is 19% level 2. Oh, 
alternator takes a bolt turning. There we go, car horn. Seven minutes, mechanics two. We're going to do a little bit of uh, car horn removal and installation. And how are we doing here? Eh, we're up to 29% and it's 445. We're going to keep doing that, so. Alright. Alright. Dawn has broken. Ooh, we got an NPC in the area. Hmm. Troy Estes. Hmm. I've got to be really careful with NPCs. They're one of the ways I can get myself killed in this run. So, dynamic, dynamic NPCs are turned on, and if they've got a gun, they can one-shot me and kill me. Um, Alright, so... I'm running at 48 torso encumbrance, which I'm not happy with. But I don't have a lot of control over that if I want to have my MBR vest. And my turnout coat and my sig. Um, do I hop on the motorcycle and go check out that NPC? My only chance of getting an NPC to join me is if I intimidate them into joining me. Uh, the negative effects from the bad bionics as well as an ugly trait makes it really unlikely I'm ever going to convince an NPC to join me other than through intimidation. I'm just worried about them having a gun. Alright, let's drop this stuff off. Alright. Get our encumbrance down as low as we can, so we're at 2.8 out of 9.5. Gonna leave the rest of my setup the same. I think I'm gonna do a quick drive-by on the motorcycle, see if I can get an eyeball on that NPC, and see if it shows him having a gun. If he doesn't have a gun, I think I'm willing to give him a try and or kill him, uh, if I have to. So, let's start the motorcycle up. All right, motorcycle, don't drift into the gas pumps. <laughs> that would be a great way to start off the episode. All right, there's the NPC in sight on the mini map. And I've got my earplugs in. Take off earplugs. All right, can I see him yet? And there he is. Looks like he's got a blade of some kind. Makeshift machete. Um, that's fairly tough. Boots, bandana, windbreaker, fingerless gloves. Hmm. Um, I get the bike ready to run. I'll let him come to me.
All right. Oh, great. God damn it. Well, I can't talk this guy into anything because he's going to require me to go kill a uh, uh, Jabberwock. So. I don't care. I'm sorry. Goodbye. So I can't... I'm not going to be able to talk this guy into anything. And... He might have something else on him, but I'm going to leave him alone. Alright, we're not going to mess with him. So, plan B. Uh, I do want to go try to finish exploring this section. I need to answer for sure if I can get to this bridge right here, un unobstructed on my motorcycle. I'm going to do that, and then depending on what we find that way, we'll work our way back over this direction and see how this edge of town looks like. <laughs> No, not this playthrough. This isn't the prison escape playthrough where I'm the uh, psychotic convict. <laughs> Alright, let's get the vehicle started up again. And like I said, I'm going to play this one pretty cautious. NPCs can be pretty dangerous for me. Okay, we're going to... I'm going to follow that road once I get over to it. And I might stop for blueberry bushes as well. We'll see. Um, nothing interesting there. And I'm hallucinating again. Hmm. That would be an odd hallucination seeing that group all the way up there. That one's a little tough for me to guess if that's a hallucination or not. I can't think of why there'd be a big group up that way. We're going to assume it is. I'm just going to ignore it. I've been out this way once before. I'm not going to stop for the car. I'm not going to stop to kill dogs. This is pretty much straight up reconnaissance run. Another acid discharge. Alright, we've got a helicopter crash site. That I knew about, right there. And we're just going to off-road it. That's not looking good. So the answer is no. <laughs> it's blocked. Uh, so I've got forest and swamp going all the way up to here. So that pretty much just cements in that I'm not getting over here easily. So this direction to Essex is pretty much my primary direction. But what sucks is from the roadmaps I've found I've got this little isolated town up here, but other than that, it's just a whole lot of nothing. Whole lot of nothing. <laughs> I'm just surrounded by a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> so. That's pretty discouraging. So right now, the only route I see over there is this long trip down south and around the edge, and then up this way. But we're going to end up going to play over here before we do that. All right, well, we've answered the question. Um, no, I've never, never used boats. I think I've got it enabled in the mods. Uh, what did I set the mod list as? Home? No.
I set a command for the mods list, but now I can't remember what I set it to. Not that. Ah. Needle and historical, survival, holding parts. No, I don't think I, I guess I don't have boats enabled on this one. So no boats. I think I have had it on on occasion, but I don't on this one. Alright, well we're going to head back towards town, drift back over, see what this corner looks like. We've cleared out a bunch last time, but we had a spitter and a few others in that area when we bailed. Um, so let's just spin around and see how things look now. There's a spitter right there. I'm not hallucinating. Spitter just jump in the water and disappear. Now I see a shrieker. There's a shock zombie up there as well. There's a lot of zombies over there. Hmm. Um. I would still love to get back into that town and hit those garages for some more tools. I'm still missing some of the critical tools, but I'm nowhere near the town. So I'm just going to avoid this group. all that zombie sign around me. That's a lot of port indicators. No items that I care about. Pretty much just heading east until I get back to the road. Then I have to decide if I'm going to refuel again while I'm up here. I think I will. Alright, I got zombies, zombies everywhere. Hmm. Bitters there, that group there. Um. I don't want the hordes to come over to the gas station if I can avoid it, but... Damn it, that spitter's gonna get in range. Very quick stop here. Ninety five per cent gas, hundred per cent battery. All right, back to a hundred hundred. 
Not sure I'm going to be back up this way again. zombies. Hawker zombies, regular zombies, shrieker zombies. Hawker zombies right on the road in front of me. How close am I to town? God, look at all that zombie presence. I don't know. I'm kind of of the mind to just bail. This place has had too much activity. I've gone through it with a motorcycle, making a lot of noise too often, and that's been spawning more and more zombies because of the wander spawn activity, I think. And I never have really cleared out those nasty zombies that I saw. Thinking I might be better off just going around, heading back to the campsite, re-equipping, and then making the run down this way. Yeah, let's do a drive-by. Um, how am I going to get around this zombie without driving right into those other zombies? If I go off this way, I've got that group I'll be heading right into. But if I angle off this way, I'm getting too close to town, and I'm likely to wander into a bunch of others. That shock zombie's in a really bad spot. <laughs> 